Hello. When I was driving home from flying, I was asking myself if it is possible to build a road to space. So when this is Earth and here is the center of gravity, we have a spherical gravity that always pushes to the center of Earth, uh, no matter where you are on Earth. But if we build a road here, uh, this road will be perfectly level. So at the beginning, gravity pushes us down, but the further we move on this road, gravity pushes us back. So as everybody has been taught in school, Earth is round, like here, like this uh, real footage uh, from outer space. So uh, let's go down to Earth and look if we can find a, a place to build our road. This hill here looks quite good. I uh, will construct here a, a road part. And then I will copy this until the road is in space. Okay, here are some concrete blocks. Yes, and the middle line here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks good. Then uh, I copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste till this road is in zero G. I have no idea how it is in the real world. At which altitude is zero G? I don't know. How high you have to go until you can free float, I don't know. But like I said, here in this simulator, it is 40 kilometers. So the road is constructed and finished. And as you can see, I am here in outer space and it is zero G. One little thing before we do our test with the rover and drive on this road. We put an antenna at the beginning and at the end so we can see how far we are and how far we have to go. So I am back on Earth. As you can see the weather changed. Now let's build a rover with some hydro thrusters to stabilize us. It shouldn't be a problem at the beginning but later on uh, I think uh, we need something to push us on the road because gravity, as I said in the beginning, will push us back. So I will put thrusters on the back and later on maybe on the top. Let's put some ice in here so we have fuel for the hydrogen thrusters. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if we can drive on this road to space. This indication here are meters above ground, not meters above sea level. So it can happen that it, the numbers go down because there is a valley after a mountain. Down here we have the gravity indication, we have artificial gravity and planetary gravity. In this experiment we use only planetary gravity and as you can see it is still 1G.
So let's do some fast forward. And I will maybe activate the hydro thruster so we are a little bit faster. So we are at 2000 meters above ground, still 1G. We stick to the road, no problem so far. Let's continue. So we are at almost 6,000 meters. Gravity will start decreasing soon and the road gets steeper and steeper, of course. I have to constantly correct the path so we can maintain a straightforward direction so we don't fall off the road. Almost at 0.5 G. Uh, I feel like losing ground under my wheels. Uh, I can feel every bump and so I, I will put some more thrusters, downward thrusters which pushes us on the road, so we stick to the road. As you can see, the antenna signal of the end of the road has appeared, but I think we will reach 0G earlier than these 50 kilometers. Uh-oh, I didn't use the down thruster, so this bump throw me off the road. Uh, need to put some more thrusters on to get back on the road. Every little bump throws me off the road. I need to use those down thrusters now. We are almost in zero G.
Oof, this is a simulator bug. But we did it. We are now in zero G. I hope you liked the video. See you soon. Bye bye.